the iconic firehouse restaurant in Venice and this is Muscle Beach TV. And today I have the great pleasure to have one of my favorite guests to have on the show, Callum Morgan. Callum, welcome to Muscle Beach on Jay Cutler TV. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> it's my good video. It's really cool to have you. I, I like to brag all the time that Callum was uh, was one. Uh, uh, I was actually one of the first ones to interview Callum when he first came to the state. He didn't have anything at the time. He had his suitcases, <laughs> some clothes, and look what happened to this guy today. He's like. You know, one of the most iconic people on, on YouTube and his Instagram is off the hook. Very, very successful. Just did the movie Bigger. We're going to talk about all that stuff. So I'm really glad to have you on the show today. Thanks, Dave. No, it's just... um, so, Callum, um, you took your time to actually come here, uh, you know, to meet with us today to, to shoot this for, for Jay. And I want to kind of go back a little bit on, you know, uh, Everything that you've accomplished so far since you've been in the United States, you've done so much. It seems like in short, in such a uh, period of time. I want to talk about you know bodybuilding. So, recently you started competing in the NPC, start racking in the uh, you know the overall titles because that was going to give you pro status. I think you got three, right? If I'm correct, two of those. Okay. Uh, I did the um, the, the Ironman Games right. in November, and then uh, a month later I did the, the Excalibur. Right. And that's the end of 2016. Yeah. Looked fantastic. Yeah. yeah you won easily. And then, yeah. as we were talking, it was asking you what's the next project, what's the next plan. Mm -hmm. You were like, well, there's this, this movie project coming my way and I think I'm going to do it. That seems like a good opportunity. And that movie project turned out to be bigger, yeah. where you play Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, after, the, um, after those competitions, I was thinking which, uh, which shows to do next. Because the goal was, you know, compete in the Mr. Olympia in right. the Classic Division. Yeah. And then I got approached to audition for Bigger. So, Steve Jones hit me up and... You know, I did the audition and he was pretty, uh, he, he was satisfied and he wanted me to, to play Arnold in that. So that kind of switched my uh, focus. focus. Yeah, the focus was to get into shape by uh, November. Yeah, November. November yeah. was when we started filming. So I wanted to, so I just wanted to put on mass and try and look kind of like the old school Arnold <laughs> from the uh, from the 70s, so. You got, uh, you prepare very well for that, for that role. Not only you trained really hard, but you also had you know, a speech therapist, you know, to basically help you with yeah. the accent, all that stuff. I saw yeah. the very first premiere for a select few here in Los Angeles. You weren't there, but, but yeah. Sergio was there. I was actually there on set to see you shoot, remember? In, uh, I was there oh, on, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. when you shot that 1970 Mr. Olympia. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in I Alabama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Alabama. That was good. It was um, awesome. With, yeah, with Sergio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that right. Was, uh, it was that was good fun. It's kind of almost like the real thing. That's right. It was a, a lot of it's like you know, a lot of waiting around and. You did a really good job on the accent. Were you? Did you see any? Uh, uh, you know, a, a little uh, tidbit of what you did. On, do you know what you look like on screen? Actually, I, I did say a, a private screening. How, what did you think when you saw yourself on the screen? Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I think it was pretty good. Like, <laughs> I, it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> do you like to see yourself on the screen or no? Not really. Oh, really? No, I don't really care. No, no. <laughs> I thought you did such I, a good job. Yeah, man. it's good. But I let other people enjoy. It, you know, I think <laughs> I, I like doing it. I like performing. And then uh, I kind of get a little bit shy. You know, when I see it. So. <laughs> Uh, you gotta get over that, man, because you're gonna yeah. be. You, Jay told me, you know, a long time ago when he first, you know, saw you, he said, This kid's gonna be very, very. Either he's gonna be Mr. Olympia in men's class and physique, or he's gonna be a big star in the movie. It all depends now where he's gonna shift his focus. And mm -hmm. when I spoke to Jay this morning on the phone, he asked me, he told me, make sure to ask him, what is his focus now? What does he wanna do? Since he did bigger and he's obviously very, you know, talented to do bodybuilding, what, where do you see yourself go in the long run? Do you know? Um, it's a good question. It's something that I often think about. Um, but at this stage, so right now, my, my primary focus is getting my health back to, you know, 100%. And, and it's physical therapy, making time and getting my body um, patched up, healed. You know, that has to come first before anything else, you know. And then I'll see. Because I don't, I don't like to say, oh, you know what, I'm still going to do this, I want to do that. It just depends on the opportunities, though, where right. I'm at at the time. Yeah. You know, I'd love to. I, well, I mean, I'd love to get up on stage and compete again. You know, bodybuilding has always been my passion. It's always been something that it just, it's just second nature. It's, you know, what makes me happy, training. So that just, like, I, it's just part of my life that I love and I enjoy. However, it's never been something that has been, like, overpowering or that I need to. It's not something that I've... Um, of that kind of control. It's positive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, and I've, I've always liked to have room for other things. So, mm -hmm. you know, the goal is right now to um, to get a physical therapy done, planning on getting a surgery done in September on my bicep. 
and then that's going to be another three months of physical therapy for my arm until that will bring us to the end of 2018 so by 2019 i want to start my bodybuilding again just training mm -hmm. some better training but using this time now between now and then to get into the acting school some classes and do that and um so just be prepared you know, yep. i kind of prepare myself so that you know right now i'm a lot smaller than i was when i was you know i've been really big and and I put, I've had, you know, I've been 30, 40 pounds heavier than I am now. Being this shape and size can be pick up more roles, more opportunities in in, in uh, different areas. So I'm just going to take it as it comes. You know, I'm you not keep gonna, your options open. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, I'm ready for, for whatever. I like to be ready, not just like I don't like to be just completely focused on one thing. And uh, unless unless that was all I cared about, yeah. You know, if it was if it was just like you know what, this is my goal, life dream is to just get up and win and win Mr. Olympia, the uh, Mr. Olympia title, uh, in the classic then uh, that would be simple. But you know, there's always been more for me. I've always needed to go a bit further. I love competing, you know, um, but we'll just see We'll just see what happens. But. Also, the movie's not out yet. It's just about to be released, you know, in general release. So first, I think yeah. they're gonna go to Cannes Festival, Sundance, all that stuff. So once that movie come out, who yeah. knows what kind of door that's gonna open for you. Exactly, yeah. So I just got, I just spoke to Steve the other day. Um, so they're planning, he's gonna to pitch it to the Toronto Film Festival. Wow, nice. Um, and then, they're planning on the um, the, relief, the the Olympia weekend, so the 9th, oh, the 30th, that's awesome. yeah, 30th, uh, the, uh, yeah, that weekend, red wow. carpet, all that screening, wow, at in Vegas, wow, right there, and then a week later they're gonna have it released over all nations. Oh my god, yeah, that's a scoop, I think, you guys, because I've never heard that anywhere. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's it. So the Olympia weekend is the release wow. of the Olympia movie. How cool is that? Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. so. Well, it sounds like to me like you're gonna make good use of the, the, the time off from the gym that you have, and yeah. you know at least it's gonna be something you know uh, purposeful and and, and uh, positive, and yeah. you actually gonna waste your time waiting home for you know to be able to hit the gym again. No, I can't. I can't do that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I I've had you know I had a few like six weeks where I was just completely almost going insane. You know, I was like kind of a prisoner in my own home. Yeah. Oh, I need to stay active, stay busy, or just keep. I just want to yeah, just push forward and just see what I can do with my career. The thing that I found that helped me a lot was, because I was, I was focused on what I couldn't do. I was always thinking about like, because I wanted to just train, I wanted to go to the gym. I was thinking, I kept thinking about what I can't do right now, but instead, yeah. you have to think on what, you have to focus on what you can do. So yeah. right now, what I can do is help myself get better yeah. and, yeah. you know, and, and maybe develop in different areas. So that was my, my get train Get more of skills in different areas. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just do what you can do and, and, uh, and, and prepare yourself. So that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. All right, I want to talk a little bit about your behavior. <laughs> you know we have to sounds, talk about it. Sounds like a parent teacher. <laughs> so listen, everyone knows you have all the tools in the world. You know, you have the looks. You have the talent, obviously, not only in bodybuilding, but you know, you proved it in the movies to become a big, big star. Either in pretty much anything you want, either in, I mean, obviously on YouTube, you're you're you know, you're a celebrity. You're doing great. Everything that you touch seems to be turning to gold. So a lot of people are asking, with all that, all these gifts and all that talent, why is he doing the things that he does? <laughs> why is he hurting himself in the gym? And that, granted, that was a freak act and stuff. Yeah. But then. You know, after that, you get better, and then you go jump off that cliff and almost kill, almost kill yourself. So let me ask you this question: Do you see yourself as a modern era James Dean, or <laughs> what is the deal with all that? Uh, I don't know. I get a bit of a thrill out of um, the risks, I guess. I, mean, I like. I don't know. I honestly, the 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 cliff accident that like that was a freak accident. I'm sorry to put yeah, you on the spot, no, but no, everybody no, yeah. wants to know because they're like, yeah. I don't get this guy, man. If I had it, his body, his talent, yeah, I would never exactly. do that. You but know what I mean? It, it's just the thing. I, I just don't like to, I just like to think that whatever I can, I'm not afraid to try anything. That's my problem. <laughs> it is a you problem. Know, it's a problem. It's like, if someone goes, oh, why don't you try this? If someone says, you can't do that, I'll say, yeah, I can. And I'll do it. <laughs> oh, so my brother goes, oh, let's go do this. I, I've never done it before. I had no idea. He's completely trained. You know, that's what he does for, for his work and stuff. And uh, he gave a full safety, you know, demo for it, everything. And mind you, I was shitting myself. Like I was like, but I was like, I'm not gonna chicken out. But it just, didn't look like you were scared at all. On yeah, the in, on the inside, I was. I was <laughs> you shitting. hide it I was, well. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. Okay. But I was, I was, I was definitely nervous. But I thought, you know what? It's gonna be fine. I've got my brothers here. I want a rope. And I just thought, you know, you gotta try everything once. Almost, you know, it's just gotta just. It's a risk. It's, to me, it's like kind of. It's a. 
it, the, the little bit of a scare makes you feel alive. Oh so my you god, this, scary, you're, you're scaring me, dude, by, by telling me. Oh, so, the food's coming. We're, we're gonna, we've got pause it there. Can you pound on that food? Per, look at that. What's coming? He, he needs he needs to gain weight right now. Well, yeah. Oh, this, this is, is not this is not his. This is my new that, dog. This is my style. <laughs> 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 all right, we're gonna pause it here. We'll recap in two right. seconds. Sounds good. All right, Callum, we just finished. Uh, we just killed that food, and that was very nice. <laughs> we're yeah, gonna resume cool the thing. interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can think think more now. <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit about um, you know that that time uh, that time that downtime you had in the house. Um, you know where. You couldn't do anything. You told me that basically for four weeks you were laying in bed, couldn't do nothing. What what did you do with your days during that during that time? <laughs> the, the first four six weeks was a rough patch. You know, I had a lot of time. I, I was playing gaming, um, watching TV shows, programs, and uh, you know, I had a lot of time to think about things and, uh, and and just kind of process everything. Life seemed to be moving really fast. Like I felt like I was on a roller coaster. I felt like everything was happening so fast around me, and I was you know booked to go here, do this appearance here, travel around here. You know, I had a lot going on. I feel like I was missing out on a lot of things, in a sense. And then this accident, after the accident, everything got stopped, put on hold. And then having an injury and laying in bed for weeks, you know, not being able to do those things makes life slow right down. It's amazing when I think about your life and, and just a short four, four years ago, we were saying you just got here and it seems like you've accomplished so much already when you're this popular and you get busy all the time. Even though you feel productive, you also feel like your life is just passing you by. You don't really get to enjoy it. So you're saying exactly, yeah. So when I was living down close to the goals, every day is get to the gym, go fight traffic, go do the stuff, and it's just before you know you're in bed, and it's the next day. And yeah. Now it's like you know I've got this a whole lot more time to just kind of sit back, enjoy, be more balanced, you know. But nice. Uh, so yeah. Who were there for you? I'm, I'm sure that uh, when this happened, uh, you probably realized. <laughs> Who were your real friends and who weren't? Yeah, who, who was there for you? Do you want to, you know, say thanks yeah, or maybe course. talk about some? Oh, of those you know, uh, I had. Um, it, it is. Uh, it's amazing, you know, who, who you know comes out and, and really backs you up when you when you in your lows and stuff. And you know, I had friends from 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 home. I had, you know, my mom, Steve. She came by. Mom came over yeah. for, for two weeks. Dropped everything. You know, she's always busy taking care of my dad. Yeah. So she dropped everything. Came over, of course. Um, uh, my friend Steve. Um, you know, uh, Frank, I had James, Miggy, I had, um, you know, Stan and, and Sergi, these guys come up and visit me. Uh, and, you know, you guys and, and a lot of the girls' gym community, everyone sending me messages. And, um, and it was really, it, honestly, it was very uplifting. And it's, it, it's the, the guys that, that come in and make the effort and, and, you know, make sure you're all right every day, you know, it goes a long way, you know, because they, they kind of pull you out of the, out of the dark of the hole that, you kind of sit, you don't want to be sitting in too long, so yeah. you know I can't thank these these people enough, and uh, they really kind of lift the spirits when you when you need it. So yeah, you know, I, I've caught you know, Jay and stuff. I got messages from him, and he's super busy all the time. But you know, just just one little message just makes me makes me feel so, so happy. And then of course I have all the, the fans and, and the followers. You know, they offer me unbelievable support. You know, yeah. there's some I, people I don't never even heard of, never speak to. They'll send me messages, emails, cards, everything. You know, and uh, and some like they'll huge, huge letters, and it's so it's so nice to read that and see how much this, you know, it, like they tell me how much impact that I made on their lives, and that they, they want to see me get well. You know, that kind of just fuels the fire to for me to motivate me to get better. So it's, not yeah. to brag, but but just uh, why don't you tell me how many uh, followers you have on Instagram and Facebook and stuff? Do you know on top of your head? Uh, I know on Instagram is like 2.8 million, so it's almost a three, yeah. And uh, Facebook, I don't know. I think it's like. Two and a half or something, wow. maybe similar. And then we've almost got, um, I think, almost six hundred, almost seven hundred subscribers, seven thousand on YouTube. You have so many fans. How do you explain that? Do you know? Uh, oh, really? Uh, I mean, <laughs> you, you just know, lucky? Yeah, I think you know. I, I guess you know. I, I at the start, um, a couple of years when I came out here and just doing all the things. You know, I was competing. I was doing expos, traveling around, um, and doing you know, different magazines. I was just doing as many different things as I could. But um, ultimately, you know, I think uh, everyone appreciates the, the genuine and authenticity they see and just to be yourself, you know, yeah. what you see is what you get, you know, and it's, yeah. it's great, you know, people, um, there's no, there's no, I really don't really put on any kind of crazy act. So I think people just like seeing that and they like watching my lifestyle. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't like to live this um, very rigid, I like to live a pretty, sometimes can be a little bit chaotic, <laughs> life, but it keeps it interesting, you know. Yeah. So, 
And then uh, I think, you know what, I, I, I guess it's about what, what, I, what you give out, you know, what people see value, they find value in what you, what you put out there. So, you know, when you're putting on, I put out training and tips and, and my physique and, and bodybuilding, yeah. you know, I'm going to have people that respond to that, yeah. you know, and then I have a passion for motorbikes, people are like, you know, will like to see the, the motorbikes. Yeah. And then, you know, I have like, I like animals and stuff, so people like the animals and then... Yeah, you get a brand yeah, new so, dog. Yeah, I got a little puppy dog. You know, <laughs> Rex, right? Rex, a little T-Rex. <laughs> so, you know, everyone, like, they, they'll see what they, what they relate to and then they like, mm. they'll like follow you for the impact or whatever it's inspiring or motivating them. Thing. I gotta ask because I'm sure so many people say, "Well, I want to be like this guy." So what is he doing? You know, so it's, I mean, it's not really a secret. I guess you're just being so, yourself. You're being yourself. You know, you're showing, you're sharing your lifestyle, and they kind of sometimes people will have their their lives, or they can sort of see live sometimes vicariously through what you're doing, yeah. and they say, "Oh, you know what? I like that lifestyle. Like, kind of apply certain things that you know they like yeah. to." To get there, yeah, we all do that. You know, you see yeah. things, you see styles. You see Someone's stuff. motivating you for yeah, whatever reason. Yeah, for whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. training, anything. Yeah. You see, I've been reading all the comments, and a lot of people have sent you, you know, good wishes and letters and all that stuff. Uh, but there's a flip side of that too, and I'm sure you, you, a lot of you probably read a lot of comments that are not so flattering and not yeah. so nice. How do you feel about those? Oh, I don't even care. Like, <laughs> talk, so, like, oh, like honestly, it doesn't bother me. I don't really. You get a thick I, skin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I don't. I honestly, like, people say whatever. Like you. Oh, sorry, I can't swear. <laughs> That's okay. Who cares what I'm doing on the TV? Like, they'll say all sorts of profanities, like, like all sorts. But you know what? At the end of the day, that's their opinion. I don't care. They're entitled to it. Um, but I've got pretty thick skin, you know. All that matters is <laughs> what my mates and my friends should think about me. So. So I don't, yeah, you know, so it's fine. All right. Usually, but you do, you do understand that, you know, a lot of people who do like you, uh, we're worried about you and yeah, we're exactly. concerned, you know. So That's I think a lot matters. of times, you they're, know, they're, 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 the, they're the comments that matter. They're the people okay. that kind of, you know. So exactly, they're okay. the ones that 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 I do, you know, want to make sure that they they understand that I'm going to be alright. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna have you for many more years, right? Yeah, yeah. We, I got you on so, tape, so yeah. you can't lie. Now <laughs> okay. you have to be good. I'm gonna be good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. Calum, I, I really want to uh, thank you for coming here today, all, all the way from your, your house uh, in Malibu, coming to eat, eat with us and, and do this for Jay. I know he really appreciates it. And uh, you brought your guy also from yeah. YouTube, so we're going to have it on both channels, you guys, Calum's uh, I, uh, uh, YouTube as well as Jekyll TV. And uh, I wish you the best for the future, man. I'm a big fan of yours. I really like you as a friend. And I don't want anything bad to happen to you. So understand that the people that are in your life who do like you as friends, they want you to stick around, you know, because we know you have all this potential and all this great future and they would be ashamed to lose you. So please be careful. <laughs> I will. Thanks, Dave. Right. Yeah, for sure. Dave Mad Max 6 for Jacob TV with Callum and Mauger. And we're out. How was that? Cool, man. Good? That was good. Yep. All right, man. Wow. That was Thank awesome. You. Thank you, bro. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good you one. too, man.